The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. The voice is coming back slowly, but at least it's much better than it was the last few days. Looking good, sounding bad. That was the old adage that I like to use. I posted a few charts here of the German DAX and the FTSE. You can see the FTSE is getting hit really bad. And also the German DAX also, excuse me, the German DAX is hitting, getting hit more than the FTSE. Let's try to do it that way. And, of course, we're having a sell-off here in the stocks uh, today. And we focused this in the newsletter. We also sent special bulletins out to expect this, where to go short. They came in to the exact prices. I mean, you just can't make this up. Uh, this is old Fibonacci at work. And that's all we're looking at. The news makes no difference to me. They're talking about uh, the war in Russia, possibly. There's a possibility of that because I got an emergency call from the senior uh, SEAL team unit that I belong to. And and uh, we are going to be on call for the next 48 hours. That's the walkers and wheelchair brigade. Anyway, let's move on here to the one chart that really makes a lot of difference to me and I think also for you. And that is this NASDAQ chart. If you'll remember, we were watching that 1.618 expansion up in that area. Uh, now we're down. We're below the 14th 320, 312 level. As you can see, that's an important level on the weekly. We've taken that out by 300 points, and that's that's a bad sign. Remember yesterday or Friday, we went below uh, two standard deviations on most of the indexes and three standard deviations on the NASDAQ, and that said this is really, really, really bad news. But it, but, but it was tradable, folks. It really was. If you would have just been you know, following the 24-7 newsletter, you would have probably been okay because we had a couple of really nice signals that – uh, we posted here one here was on the nasdaq if you'll see here we we talk about the importance of that 382 retracement and you can see we got that there at 14,500 we're now 500 points below that level that was a 382 the risk on that was very very small and that's what we were watching we did that on a whole bunch of things but that's the one that uh you know i wanted to focus on because i certainly can't do them all today that's for sure now let's talk about what's really happening i think in the world but you know a lot of people don't realize it because you know they, they they get afraid of cryptocurrencies but we've been talking about a big break in cryptocurrencies for quite some time now this is the cryptocurrency world when it was at three trillion dollars just a few months ago last well it's actually two months ago you notice that that yellow arrow that i put in there folks that was an exact 382 from the 3,000 trillion 3,000 trillion so the 3,000 from the these I've never talked in trillions before, folks. Three trillion dollar high. That gold arrow was an exact three eight two of that bounce, and now we've gone substantially below that. We're below a two trillion dollar market now. That A B C D folks, that measures to about eighteen thousand, twenty thousand to eighteen thousand in Bitcoin and about twelve hundred in uh Ethereum. Now they're hitting these things pretty hard, but the real panic hasn't come in yet. Panic is when you see a vacuum in the market, and we have not seen that yet. We're down, I don't know how much we're down in the Dow now. You get the Dow down more than 1,200 points or so, or near those trading limits of 2 or 3%, then panic will set in. But that has not happened as of yet. And believe me, be, be really careful, folks. And the reason why, and I, I, I don't want to promote too much for the Elliott Wave people, the reason why I'm going to bring this up here is this is the long-term view that he had of this thing. And believe me, when you look on the left here, where he's talking about the 1930s. All that data is very good. When you get back in the 1800s, you don't really get good data until 20 years after the Civil War, which was 1885. And so that's an important thing to remember. You know, uh, uh, hold on just a second here. I got to answer a, uh, a message here. Okay, now here's what we're looking at. 
this is a possibility that this is the long-term cycle high that they've been looking for for 13 years. I don't know if it's going to be it or not. I really don't. But if it happens to be it, and remember, it hit the exact price of uh, 36488 in the Dow Jones. That was the exact price. You can see it. I mean, it just uh, it's just amazing. That's a 1.618 expansion of the whole move from the 1930s to 2021 or 22. So if that's right, you're going to see things that you've never seen before. And I, I don't know if it's going to happen or not. All I know is the market's acting, you know, not very well. And we've got a lot of bearish things. Out. Well, forget the bearish things. You know, you, you know, it doesn't make any difference. You know, just look at the charts. They'll keep you in the game as long as you can. I've had several questions. Why isn't gold breaking out to the new high? Folks, uh, you know, you just have to follow what's going on. If you remember... One of the things that we focused on, of course, was the – hold on a second. I want to get this up here so we'll be able to see it easily enough – was the silver market. And that will just take me one second, and we'll be ready to go. There we go. Here is the silver. We posted this last Thursday, and you'll notice on Friday – that market hit the exact high. Look at that, 1.618 expansion, 24,075. The high was 24,077. We're now trading at, uh, I think, about a dollar a barrel, a dollar a barrel, a dollar an ounce uh, under that. Another thing, let, let me t explain to you on the premiums that people in the world have to pay for gold. If you buy an ounce of gold in a, you know, the regular U U.S. gold that are minted, you know, the rounds that they have, the gold eagles if you buy one of those the premium in those in the united states is around 350 dollars around a little over three percent if you buy it anywhere else in the world uh, uk uh, france germany you know any of the european countries i don't know about asia you have to pay 1100 dollars a coin folks that's seven percent they're really marking this stuff up quite a bit. And remember, there's a great deal, a great deal of resistance up there in the gold at that 18, 1852 level. And that, that's something that you have to pay, uh, you know, pretty close attention to. So that's what we're looking at. The silver, you know, we posted that silver trade long before it happened. And uh, some you know, some people were able to do that, which was pretty good. So you've got a really nice lead in that. So that's pretty good. But there's another one here that I thought was going to be pretty good, a little bit better than I thought. Let's get this up here right now. I posted this last night because we had a beautiful uh, ABCD pattern here, what we call the three drive to a top pattern in the soybeans, March soybeans. And they're trading down. Uh, right, they were 1394 a little while ago. I don't know where they are now. But. Uh, uh, that's that was a beautiful trade. You notice here the, the perfect A, B, C, D from A to B and B to C. Uh, that's what I'm looking at. So that's uh, keep that in mind. Uh, that's working pretty well. And also remember that if you listened to uh, what we were saying in the crude oil complex and stuff, uh, we'll be able to uh, – someone give me the last price of silver because I'm not even sure uh, where it is. But we had a couple others that looked really interesting from the short side based on that same type of pattern. And that was in the crude oil complex. Everybody was talking about the fact that it was going to be $100 oil. Yeah, well, maybe there is. But this is an ABCD pattern, and that's what we look for. A beautiful ABCD up there. At, uh, and here again, the number for the ABCD came in at 2.7177, and the high was 2.72.03. I mean, that's less than $100, folks. Let's get right back. Stan Harley should be our guest with any luck at all, but in these kind of markets, who knows? We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I want to uh, give you a little heads up here. If we start going lower here towards uh, the next 20 or 30 minutes, uh, we could have a Dow down day of more than 1,500 points would be my guess. We will have one of those shortly, but I don't know if it's going to be today or not. But there's a possibility of that happening, so be very, very careful. Now, I posted the chart of the bond market. Let me get it up here because here could be the really problem, all right? There's only two ways the Fed can help us, and that is to liquefy. They've already liquefied all they're going to do. So if you think the Fed, the Fed's out there helping you, uh, let me give you a little bit of back information on this. 1929 to 1932, okay? The Fed raised rate five times, Bubba, especially during the big drop. Guess what that did to the market? Made it worse. So be really careful. Be afraid, as old uh, Marshall Robinson says. Be afraid. Be very afraid. We miss you, Marshall. Get your little tail down here. We want to have some good old Mexican food, buddy. And give your wife Lynn our regards. Marshall's been with us since the very beginning, and he is a good old country boy, which we like those country boys, and we like those city slickers. We like them all. you got to watch this bond market, folks. It's much bigger, six, seven times bigger minimum. And you also have to keep an eye on the crypto market because they're going to tear it apart. They haven't started to scare them yet. The, 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 little, uh, the little chairs up there at, uh, in the uh, what millennial offices are shaking a little bit, but they've never been through a bear market. Most of you haven't been. You been, you thought 2020 was a bear market. You know, we didn't drop very much. Do you realize, folks, in the NASDAQ, it was down every day last week at least 1%, down a lot more today, five days in a row. The only other time that's ever happened was in March of 2000 when it was trading at uh, 5,000. 
Now, I know it went from 5,000 to 1,500, no big deal. But don't forget where we are now, folks. We're a lot higher than 5,000. We got to 16,000. So we could easily see a heck of a correction here. The other thing you got to remember, and this is really important, that, that low that we got in March of that year was one of the best buying opportunities we've ever had. So these, these big moves down can lead to tremendous moves up. So we want to be focusing on both the short side until we think the long side comes in, and then we'll uh, have a pretty good idea of uh, what we got a shot at. But we don't have any patterns now. All we've got now is a free fall pattern. And those are not very fun if you're long, as you know. That uh, that's an important. By the way, silver's down over a dollar ten from where the sell signal came in, folks. That's a pretty good run, I think. And we've had the soybeans are working pretty good. And of course, we still we still like the short side of the stock market. And uh, those are the, some of the things that we're we're focusing on today. Uh, I, I posted the one for the Nasdaq on the uh, the three eight two pattern. And if you want to get this up here, you'll see this was the S&P up there last night, early in the morning, after, uh, when it opened uh, uh, Sunday night early up there at 44.20 was the 3.82. The high was 44.24. And I think we're trading a little bit lower than that now. Uh, and so those are that's what we're trying to do is to line these up. And boy, I've got some stuff on that 3.82. It knocked my socks off, so I know it's going to knock your socks off. Uh, one of the advantages of doing this show is there's some really smart people out there that share information, and I've been sharing information with this dude over in Switzerland. That boy's got a handle on some stuff, and he said he shared some stuff with me that uh, he's going to allow me to share with the next time we do a day trading uh, seminar, which will be sometime next month or March, somewhere in that ballpark. But the main thing to focus on now is uh, what happens today if we don't get a rally and you know i think our friend uh, basil chapman nailed it right if we come in at 10 o'clock and we're still way down boy it's going to take something really dramatic to do it and i believe the fed is setting on their hands i'm not sure of that but that's my two cents worth that's uh, what i'm looking at so those are the things now remember here another one that i focused on in the uh, newsletter excuse me i did a video on this not the newsletter but i did a video on apple and the fact that uh, if Apple would gap down today below 162, uh, that would not be a good sign. Now, we're, I think we're quite a bit lower now in Apple on the 162, but I don't know whether it gapped down because I don't follow the, I don't follow the stocks uh, at all. Uh, someone's asked a question about, do I follow Elliott Wave? No, I don't. But I respect the re – uh, I have trouble. The, the wave structure is great. I think 158. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Danny, it, but I, the reason why I don't follow Elliot, folks, because I get really confused when it goes tries to, to determine what happens between the BC and the CD legs. I can see A, B, C, D really easily. Okay, now when you start counting waves and you get twos and fours and threes and sevens and eights and nines or whatever they want to call them, that's too much. That's over my pay grade. I and listen, I sat there at Pismo Beach for seven years and I had some of the best. Elliot, are you name an Elliott Wave guy that wasn't in my office, and that's not going to happen. That's including from Europe. And they would come over there and was sitting there with Bryce Gilmore, and they'd be going over this stuff, and they'd start arguing whether it was a 2 or a 4 or a 3 or a 7 or a 9 or a 12. And I'm just looking at it, and I said, what are you talking about? That's an ABCD. And they said, well, that's not enough information. Yeah, it is for me because at point D, if it fails, I'm out of there. That's all I need to know. So that's all I try to do, folks. Try to be curly and do one thing. And, you know, so far it's led me to where I am today, which is, gee, I don't know where am I today. I'm here in Tucson, Arizona, which was 37 degrees last night, folks. Terre Haute was just a little bit warmer than that. All right, so those are a few of the things that we need to talk about here. But let me, uh, we've got to, hopefully we'll have Stan Harley as a guest. If not, I've got some really good information on the, on the historical basis of these things. But if you'll, if you'll spend some time with the mental part of this, folks, because don't get involved. You know, I know you can try to pick a bottom here all day long. And you can, you'll probably be right. But if you're not right, you've got to discern, discern, you have to discern where you are 
and make sure that you don't, uh, you know, just stay there and let let it keep going against you. That's the one thing you do not want to do. And I, 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 we talk about that all the time. I hope it comes in, you know, loud and clear. But frankly, uh, you know, sometimes people just miss the message, and I, I don't want them to miss the message. And that's uh, I can't control that. That's the main thing that you got to remember here. You're in charge of your own destiny. It's that mirror that you're looking at. That's the most important cycle from your left ear to your right ear. You get that one right, the rest of it is pretty good. All I do is simple little patterns, and that's what I'm watching. Look what's happened here, folks. This is uh, this was from Friday. I want to get this up here. I believe it is. Uh, yep, th- th- this was Friday and through Sunday. Let me get this up here so we can look at it. This is just a, a dramatization of what I showed you at the 382s. There they are right there. You see the one on Friday. That was the highlight. Remember, we sent out a special report saying this is it. This is the big one. Get short on that 382. And where did it go? It went spot on to the 382 in the S&P at 45.97. We're 300 points uh, lower than that right now. And you can notice the 382 last night and, again, the 382 this morning. Folks, that 382 is a powerful number. You can call it a 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 12, 18, 41 hike. I don't know what it is, but that's a 382. And the fellow in, in Switzerland showed me something that where you have to be careful is when the 382 might not work. And I said, oh, my God. I said, look at these forever. And I still didn't see it. It's like that elephant out there on the screen. You say, where is that elephant? And someone shows you, say, oh, my God, why didn't I see that elephant? Well, I'm looking at elephants sometimes in these markets, folks. And that's one of the reasons I do this show here because it's a lot of fun. And guess what? We get to pay some bills here for... TFNN 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter on the line. Stan, how are you doing today, buddy? And listen, thank you for showing up today because I know you're swamped. You were kind enough to give us a few minutes. We've got three nice charts to look at. You want to tell us what we're looking at, buddy? Absolutely, Larry. Hello, hello. Um, we're ready. The first chart is a chart of the weekly S&P 500. And uh, what we see here is what I call the primary cycle. It's 34 weeks from high to high. And that cycle is an accordion, Larry. It kind of expands and contracts over time. Uh, over the long haul, and I wrote an article for this in the Foundation for the Study of Cycles magazine, it, it, uh, it nominally spans right at 34 weeks, which is the Fibonacci number. Uh, the most recent uh, recurrence of this contracted to about 18 weeks. The prior one expanded to 52. But we put in an intermediate cycle high, and we are we're heading south. Uh, boy, I'll tell you, I, 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 frankly, I was surprised to see the the, the rapidity of some of these uh, Fang stocks. What happened to them? I mean, I saw that Amazon was down twenty five percent. I mean, I, I didn't know they could do that to a uh, to to a Fang stock. <laughs> anyway, well, the second. Let me you see, never I, know I how much they're going to go down. Oh, amen, amen to that. But your second one is the one that's very interesting to me is the fact that we're taking out the October lows and we've got this big gap in there. Is that That's pretty important, isn't it, Stan? That is uh, very interesting, yes. Uh, we've taken out the October lows, which was the prior 34-week cycle bottom. Uh, that in and itself doesn't have any significance. Uh -huh. uh, my sense here, Larry, just – Stepping back, looking at the broad big picture here, is we're probably in a very large basing evolution with the low end somewhere around where we are right now, maybe a tad lower, and the high mm -hmm. end uh, where we were at the beginning of the month. And we're going to be stuck in this base for the next several months, etching out a, uh, a up-down, up-down type of uh, trading structure. Uh, but I don't look for a significant breakdown from here. I think we are closer to the lows than we are to the highs. Uh, I can certainly be right. Absolutely correct. And I think we'll probably hit a, a springboard low this week. I don't, I don't want to put a date on it. We're right in the heart of the envelope. We're, we're close. Could be today, could be a day or two from now, but I think we're awfully doggone close. That, that I, I feel pretty good about saying. Okay. Well, how about the COVID thing? What does that look like to you? You've Boy, been, by the way, you here. you've been so good on that on that COVID. My goodness, I uh, the, it's amazing these charts follow the same charts that we look at. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, interesting COVID. Uh, we can analyze that just like we can a, a stock chart. Uh -huh. uh, these are the majored highs, and or I should say peaks. Uh, and uh, in cases, as reported to the CDC, one can download this off the CDC's website, dump it into a spreadsheet and analyze it. And you can see I have highlighted with vertical, blue vertical lines, the peaks. And then in between, I've noted 1.00, 2.00, 1.0, 1.618, 1.382. What I found here is there is a very well-defined cycle in the COVID peaks averaging right at 13 Fibonacci weeks, wow. 91 calendar days, plus or minus a few few days left or right. But every 13 weeks, like clockwork, we tend to get uh, Stan, we tend, yeah. tend to get major peaks in, in COVID cases. Stan, I think we have prob probably seen the most recent peak, and we are now declining. 
Okay, if you need to take that call, buddy, we'll we'll let you go and we'll catch you again soon, okay? Because I know you're swamped and I know you squeezed us in. So we'll see you in a few weeks. All right, buddy? My pleasure. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Stan. Take care, Mary Paul. You bet. Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. If you want that thing from the Foundation for the Study of Cycles, uh, you have to do it. We're at the moment of truth now in the stock market from the old AI perspective here. If we start making lows here after 12 o'clock, uh, buckle your seatbelts, folks, because uh, there's going to be uh, an accident. I don't know if it's going to be a crash, but there's going to be an accident. So that's the main thing to remember here if we uh, – you know, if we do that. So just keep in mind, uh, hold on a second. I have to make a little correction here. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, hold on. I got to put this in, boys. Three, three, four. Uh. Okay. Uh, there we go. All right. All right, let's get back to some of the things that I've looked at over the weekend that I think you may or may not be interested in. But guess what? I'm going to let you listen to them anyway, okay? Here's some of the things that I think that could be, uh, you know, very, very important. First of all, some people have sent me some things that I think are pretty cool. And if I can just do that. Here was the one. Hold on just one second here. Oh, dear. What happened to it? All right, just give me a break here, folks. I'll get this up here. and I keep some of this stuff up to keep it interesting, and sometimes it doesn't work out the way that I want it to be. Oh, shut the front door and raise your head. I've got to be doing something here. Uh, where is it? Larry, Larry. Oh, here it is. I think, I hope this is it. Ooh, never really know. Ah, I can't find the darn thing. It was a really nice... Uh, a nice here. If you remember this here, let me get this. This we showed three weeks ago. What did I do with that other stuff? Boy, oh boy, it's this was that market breath was collapsing, and folks, you can see why it's collapsing now. The market is in big trouble. It really is. I mean, we're breaking some serious things. If we start making lows here after ten o'clock, I don't know how much the Dow is down, but it's going to be something that could be, uh, you know, relatively, you know, pretty, uh, you know pretty uh what do you call very very dramatic and these people that are out there these millennials and stuff you know they're not used to these bear markets and so they're the ones that are going to have to have to uh you know really realize that you don't uh, know what's going on with some of these things and they're going to get hurt pretty badly and uh, we certainly don't want that to uh we don't want that to happen that's for sure but you got to protect yourself in here, folks. The fact that we're gapping down so much is really a uh, really a big thing on that SPX. And if we don't fill that gap right away in the next, you know, three or four hours, it's going to look pretty bad. Look what they've done to Kathy Wood's group in uh, that ARC stuff. Look at this, folks. This stock was 155. Friday it was 71. I have no idea where it is today. You know that you know that's a sign that there's something is uh, not uh, correct. So let's uh, let's remind ourselves of that. I'm still looking for that darn thing that I can't find. Maybe I'll be able to find it. No, I don't think so. It's not looking good right now. Well, shut the front door, of a razor rent. Maybe if I can get it at the break, I'll do that. But uh, oh dear, 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 I can't do it right now. Shut the front door. By the way. Uh, uh, let me see. Where's the one on Peloton that I wanted? So I showed Apple. I showed the Arc, and there was one on not Peloton, but Planeteer. I mean, some of these great stocks. I mean, they're they're down to levels that no one would think they would get to. But that doesn't mean they can't go lower, boys and girls. Uh, that that's the that's the key to all of this, and we got to remember uh, that's what we're watching here. Now let's get back to the, uh, the copper. I'll talk. I'll be back with copper in just a second, folks. Eight seven seven. 927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I just posted a chart here of 1987. It's pretty descriptive. Uh, that date you're looking at, it, the, the, the day before the, the crash, that was September, excuse me, <laughs> October the 16th, 1987, the Friday. Options expired. Uh, the market closed down 103 in the Dow that day. And then when it gapped down, it gapped down. Remember, the Dow was only trading at around 2,600 at that time. It gapped down about 50 points, which was a lot. And it ended up being down uh, 60. 540 points on the day, which was a 16% drop in one day. This is not the type of thing we're looking at here. What we're looking at here, especially when you look at this chart that Stan picked up, was that gap. Now, that gap is very important, and the reasoning for that gap is it surprised a lot of people. And uh, there's a lot of reasons to be surprised out there because of the Ukraine and China and COVID and uh, you know whatever the you know the uh, what uh, inflation anything you want to put you can name it on anything it doesn't make any difference. That's why I'm a technician because I don't care what a difference is. I mean I just want to see what's happening on the chart. You know they can't they can't lie to me they can't hide from me. Because I can I can see what they're doing. If there's more sellers, there's you know prices are going down. If there's more buyers, prices are going up. And I don't think the Fed is out there to help you. You know, sure they help you on the way up, but you know that don't mean they're going to help you on the way down. Remember, it's a private bank for bankers. They don't they don't care about Larry. They don't care about uh, Tommy T and his new baby or anything like that. No sir, they're worried about themselves as they should be. Take care, number one. All right, let's move on to a couple other charts that I've got up for you that you might be interested in. The next one I want to show you is the uh, – this is really a, an informational type uh, chart. That's the main thing. So give me one second here. I think I had it here. Let's me 
what did I do wrong now? I had them all up here. Now they're gone. All right, just a second here. I know where they are. I, they moved around just a little bit, and I'll be right here. Here, they're back here. There we go. We're back here. We'll get the old dry Baltic index. This is the dry Baltic index. This is showing you that business has slowed down dramatically here. You can see that red line right here. That means the shipping that they've been talking about for the last six or eight months it ain't been happening. So uh, that's uh, that's something to pay attention to. That's how much it costs to ship something across the sea. So that may or may not have an indication on this, but we'll be watching. it. Some of these others are interesting. So, hey, they were interesting to me, so I hope they're interesting to you. Here's a statistic that's very interesting, published by Bloomberg. Here it is. It's, it's a nice way to show how the December low indicator is a big deal. The 36 times the December lows held, the market was up rather strong. The 36 times the December low didn't held, there was some tough sledding. And they marked this down. You can see what's happened. December lows, folks, we we could easily, I don't know if we're even close to that. I don't know what it is. That's just a statistic. statistic. And you know what they say, liars figure, but figures do lie, something like that. All right, let's move on to the next one. I want. Well, that was one we've already looked at was the uh, silver market. And the next one we looked at was the uh, expansion by the Elliott Wave people. We already looked at that one. Uh, here's one here. Uh, this is Coinbase. We were talking about the cryptocurrencies. Uh, John Jameson has been talking about a crash in the cryptocurrency market for the last two and a half months. Any of you that have read the letter know that's in fact the case. I don't cover cryptos, but I cover cryptos because there's more. I don't cover the cryptos, but I cover the crypto market because there are more people trading cryptos than there are in stocks. There's many, many more people trading cryptos than there are in stocks. And believe me, they don't they don't have margin calls. They just sell you out. The other thing that's happening in the crypto market that is extremely scary, and the reason why the cryptos were so weak over the weekend is people couldn't get their money out. They just shut the damn things down, and you, they wouldn't respond to it. It's still going on. You can't get money out. And then when you try to get money out, they put an ungodly fee on the darn thing. You know, someone just took out a few thousand dollars, which usually is about a $50 fee. They charged them $450, and you can't do anything about it because there's no allure, allure, what you call it, the lower things, you know. Anything below that uh, $4,250, Bob, is, uh, that's really, that's not very good if that is in fact the case. Let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, we just took it out. So it's a, watch that, watch that number there at forty-two fifty. We're at forty-two forty-eight right now because if that doesn't hold, whew, look out. It's going to be even worse than you might think. So this is uh, this is pretty much it. We're coming into that ten o'clock time. It's got to get started because uh, how much can someone tell me how much the Dow Jones is down right now? Because I have no. I flank, frankly have no clue where it is. I can't see prices when I'm doing the show here. And so that makes it just a little bit different. Look at this. We got this crude oil down about uh, $3 a barrel, which is a good thing. We were short that. The heating oil was the easiest one that I posted earlier with that big ABCD. That was the one that was the most easy. And if you think it's diff easy to put a trade on when the news is telling you that it's, uh, well, we've got this $100 barrel because the Ukraines are shutting or that Russians are going to shut down everything in Ukraine. The natural gas is going to go, you know, through the roof. It's natural gas happens to be one of the few things up today. But I just do the patterns, folks. If I can find a place where I can risk something without risking very much at all, you know, that's really what I'm looking at. So it's it's as simple as that for me. So that's uh, the main thing that I'm looking at. Someone asked me, where's the place to go for safety? Well, the main thing goes have some buying power so that when these buys come up, Wow, the Dow's down 900. Because that's the magical number now, folks. We haven't been down 900 in the Dow since Hector was a pup, and that dog's nine years, four years old. So uh, anything below 1,200, what is it, 1,100? Anything below 1,100 in the Dow uh, makes it uh, makes it pretty nasty. So that's the main thing to uh, remind yourself to. Again, just when we were on the air, we made a 382 retracement there, folks, in the Dow Jones. Right when I when we right before in the middle of the, about 20 minutes ago, we made a yeah right 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 at the beginning of the show, we were making a perfect 38 percent retracement at 33,700. Go for, do the work yourself. You know, go go look at it. It's right there. Thirty three thousand seven hundred was a three eight two of the high from last night to early this morning. It's just that you know that's all it is. It's not it's not rocket science. 
You know, people say, why do you tell people that? It's very simple, boys and girls. Nobody gives it, you know what, a fiddler's hoot. Because A, they don't believe it, and B, they don't want to do the work and prove it to themselves. Until you prove it to yourself, you know, it ain't fun. So remind ourselves of that. You got to do the work. Like Twentyman says, defy human nature. Do the work yourself. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Remember, tomorrow's guest will be none other than our good friend Tim Boss down there in Florida. He always has some good stuff. Also telling us at the cryptos, this was one that I that I really like. This is one from the uh, Elliott Wave people uh, showing up all the different things there. Now, folks, if you look at that from a thing with the Elliott Wave, it's got all these little markings. You know, I'm just looking at double A B C D pattern there. You can see it from the August low up to the January high, down to the December low. And bada bing, bada boom, and there it is, right? And that's why we were looking to short it up there. And so, anyway, that's uh, neither here nor there. So that's neither here nor there. So we'll move on to the next one. I'm surprised I was even able to do the show today because yesterday it was touch and go whether my voice was going to make it or not. But so far, it's hanging in there pretty good. Well, maybe not good enough for you, but enough to get the show done. All right, let's move on here. I've got one other one here. Oh, someone just posted me. It's now 950 lower. Let's get up here. Ah, that was basically what I wanted to call tell, cover. I think I covered everything on here, if I believe. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, oh, one other one. We get back. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
Okay, folks, I've saved the best news for last. I posted that chart of the cryptocurrencies up there, folks. The reason why it's important is this is not a tulip bubble or anything like that. This is a new market that's come out a long time ago, 2012. So we're in the 10-year part of this, okay? Tulip bulbs go straight up, straight down. This one's went straight up, but in a nice technical pattern, not like uh, the South Sea Island bubble or tulip bulbs, nothing like it. Big money is in this, folks. We're talking trillions of dollars equal to what we have in many of these ETFs and stuff. So the thing that we have to focus on, and so far we're you know, marginally correct that there's a big correction coming here in the cryptos. It's going to lead to a fabulous buying opportunity in some of these things. And they have such tremendous leverage behind them with very low risk that that's what's going to be really interesting. Back in September, two years ago, we had a trading seminar with a, a TFNN live trading. And on that day, we were looking at six cents on Cardano. And I said, you buy it at six cents, and you're only risking six cents, and it could go to two and a half dollars. Well, it went to three dollars. Well, six cents to two and a half dollars, if you'd have bought 3,000 shares, made you $200,000. I happened to know three or four people that took that class that bought a lot more than $3,000, and they got out at 250, and they made a lot of money. We're waiting for something really, a great buying opportunity that I'm going to share with the 24-7 people uh, when, it, when it gets down there. Uh, Shane Smolian has been really good about, you know, telling us to be dangerous about the top when he talked about the stelliums and some of the other things that were so important back there on January the 7th. So we've got some ideas of what's going on. We're watching the price levels using technical analysis. So we've got some areas to watch to buy some of these things if they get down to that level. And they follow the technical patterns beautifully. So let's remind ourselves to just be patient. Don't be negative. Always use stops and you're going to be okay. If you don't use stops, you know, you're looking at some things that could really bite your old uh, proverbial you-know-what. So you don't want that to, uh, you don't want that to happen. So let's remind ourselves of that also, okay? That's the main thing. So we're right at 10 o'clock now, folks. If the market can't rally here, it's going to have a, a pretty serious correction. Hey, we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. 